Teyuta was a powerful queen of the Illyrian tribe of the Ardei who ruled over a significant portion of the Western Balkans in the 3rd century BC. Her reign marked a significant chapter in the history of the Illyrian people, and her legacy continues to inspire interest and admiration among scholars and enthusiasts of ancient history. Teyuta is believed to have ascended to the throne of the Ardei following the death of her husband, Agron. She inherited a kingdom that was already well established and highly respected in the region, and she quickly set about expanding its borders and influence. Under Tayuda's leadership, the Illyrians became a major naval power in the Adriatic Sea. She encouraged piracy and raiding as a means of expanding her kingdom's wealth and power, and she established alliances with other tribes and city-states in the region. However, Tayuda's aggressive policies eventually brought her into conflict with the expanding Roman Republic. In 229 BCE, a Roman fleet led by the consul Lucius Postumius Albinus arrived in the Adriatic and demanded that Teuta put an end to the Illyrian piracy and pay tribute to Rome. Teuta refused to submit to Roman demands, and the two sides soon became embroiled in a conflict that would become known as the First Illyrian War. The war lasted for several years, and saw the Romans launch a series of successful campaigns against the Illyrians. Ultimately, the Roman army under the command of consul Gaius Fulvius Flaccus was able to defeat the Illyrian forces and force Teuta to sue for peace. As a result of the war, the Ardei were forced to pay tribute to Rome and limit their naval activities in the Adriatic Sea. Ancient sources, such as Polybius and Livy, wrote about Queen Teuta and her reign. According to these sources, Teuta was a strong and independent queen who was deeply respected by her people. However, her ambition and aggressive policies towards neighboring powers, particularly the Romans, brought her into conflict with the expanding Mediterranean superpower. Polybius describes Teuta as a woman of masculine spirit, who was not afraid to use force to defend her people's interests. He recounts how she dispatched naval expeditions to raid the coastal towns of southern Italy, prompting the Roman Senate to send an envoy to demand reparations. However, Teuta refused to comply, leading to a full-scale Roman invasion of Illyria. Livy's account of the conflict portrays Teuta as a ruthless and cunning leader who resorted to assassination and treachery to maintain her power. He tells the story of how Teuta ordered the murder of a Roman envoy, which further inflamed tensions between the two powers. Despite her defeat, Teuta remained a revered figure among the Illyrian people. Her courage and determination in the face of Roman aggression inspired many, and she continued to be celebrated in Illyrian literature and folklore for centuries after her death. Today, Teuta is remembered as one of the most significant figures in Illyrian history. Her reign marked a period of expansion and prosperity for the Ardei, and her legacy continues to inspire interest and admiration among scholars and enthusiasts of ancient history. Her story serves as a reminder of the importance of strong leadership and determination, and of the enduring power of the human spirit in the face of adversity.